Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to respond to my Democratic colleagues' concerns about uh, local media and the role that NPR plays in that. Uh, there was an article that pointed out that traditional outlets like the New York Times have moved so far to the left that uh, they and other national outlets have lost the trust of most Americans who now place more trust in, in, in uh, state and local media. In response to that, left-wing foundations have made massive investments in nonprofit journalism and related efforts, most notably the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation put up $500 million over five years in hopes of fundamentally upending the local news marketplace and buying uh, the, uh, a place in the local news. Now, uh, Mr. Graham, Mr. Irwin, you can respond to this. I think it's pretty evident that uh, content is driven by your revenue sources. Would you agree with that, yes or no? Yeah, there, I mean, there has been this tendency now in public media, obviously, uh, they'll tell you that they're provided, you know, they're supported okay. by the MacArthur Foundation All or right. something. But private journalism, too. Well, uh, and Mr. Irwin, if you'd like to respond, it's, it's a yes or no, really. Yes, and that includes tax dollars. Well, the point that I want to make is that you agree that revenue drives content. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're not providing the content, then the money's not going to be there. And we, we've kind of gotten wrapped around the axle a little bit about... Uh, uh, taxpayer funding of this, which I think is wrong, fr frankly. I think we shouldn't be funding left-wing propaganda. But I do think we need to look at the content and the source of revenue. And if you start looking at, uh, for instance, who funds these organizations, they're the same people who, who make political contributions to left-wing uh, Democratic candidates. Uh, they're also, and this is what's really interesting to me, some of these foundations are the same people who are funding the pro-Palestinian uh, demonstrations. I mean, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, for instance, the Rockefeller Brothers Fund. David Rockefeller is a, uh, has been very open about his support of, of some of these uh, demonstrations and is a major supporter of Democratic uh, candidates. Mike and Nick Pritzker, uh, the Hyatt Hotel family, same thing. You look at Arabella. Uh, which is a conglomerate of, of uh, funding sources of left-wing foundations. Uh, William and Flora Hewlett, David and Lucille Packard, the Ford Foundation, Robert Wood Johnson, Gordon Betty Moore Foundation, the, John, uh, the MacArthur Foundation. Isn't it interesting that these are the same people who fund NPR? Would you think it would have an impact on, on content, Mr. Graham? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the socialist critique of the news media used to be that, you, you know, Ford, if Ford's funding the news media, then it must all be pro-big business. Well, a lot of times today in public broadcasting, when you just listen to them saying, the show is brought to you by the Public Welfare Foundation for Transformative Justice. I mean, they do announce, basically, mm -hmm. we are giving money to get a certain result. Mm -hmm. um, back under the Obama years, NPR actually took money from a charity called the Plowshares Fund explicitly wow. to report on the Iran arms, or the, you know, the Iranian arms thing. But these, they were supporters yeah, of giving these Iran the, These are arms. the same foundations that are funding the radical climate agenda that has caused food prices to skyrocket, household energy costs to skyrocket. They're the same people who abdicate open borders. They're the same radical left funding uh, an, um, anarchist groups. They're the same individuals behind the foundations who fund Democratic candidates who then advocate for more left-wing radical policies that have created the border crisis, made food unaffordable, and, and have made our communities less, less safe. And so my point, gentlemen and, and my colleagues, is that what we're really talking about here is a, is a major network mm -hmm. uh, funding a propaganda machine that supports left-wing policies that completely ignores uh, conservative points of view, that the same people who are funding this propaganda machine is also funding uh, liberal democratic candidates, and they're the same people funding these protesters and these anarchist groups. Uh, gentlemen, you're welcome to respond, Mr. Graham, Mr. Irwin. I would just add that Catherine Marr comes from this world. She was previously the head of the Wikimedia Foundation. She is on the board of Signal. Um, and she's explicitly said the First Amendment is a problem. Uh, I know her tweets have become somewhat famous, but 
Uh, she's one of their operatives, and absolutely, she's taking over NPR is part of their desire to drive what everyone's able to think and what narratives are allowed in our society. I just think you have to look at the 990s and and and, and you know look at who's who's funding this to, to really understand what's going on here. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity to have this. I think this hearing was was justified, and we should have had it a long time ago. And I do, th I, I agree with my Democratic colleagues. I'd be happy to have another hearing and bring the CEO of NPR in here to answer some of these questions. So and I, I hope back. we will at a time that's more convenient. Um,